We are the Ken Clark Organ Trio, and you're watching the extended play sessions. Thank you very much. That's the title cut off our newly released CD, First Mind. Uh, it's a 
recording, I suppose. Who knows what it'll become? An LP, right? That's what you can call it. Yeah, it just came out, and uh, I'll tell you more about it. Uh, but this next song is something written by Mike Mealy. It's called Always Tomorrow.
Thank you. So I suppose I give you a little talk about the group. Mike Mealy on guitar. Steve Chigaris on drums. Of course, myself, Ken Clark on Hammond organ. And we've been playing together for approximately 30 years. And I don't know, we've done at least, what, 100 gigs a year? So, something like that, you can do the math. Um, this CD, a lot of times, it, has anybody uh, checked out our other recordings? I hope somebody says yes. <laughs> no, why bother? Anyway, uh, so a lot of our, our other CDs, uh, there's a lot of genre mixing. In this uh, CD, I specifically wanted to uh, make it a jazz CD, and so we're going to play this whole CD in its entirety, nice. right? right? Just as it is. What you're hearing today will almost be as good as what you hear on the recording. Maybe better. Who knows? Of course, Bill Hurley did the uh, graphics on this CD. Thank you so much. He's a... So talented in so many ways and such a supporter and I, I, I can't even, I'm just going to keep playing because I'm not going to say anything smart about that. Um, oh, this next one, this is a fun song. This is a joke song. It's called Dumpty Dump. Dumpty Dump is a blues feel. It's like, you know, your standard blues feel. And this is a, uh, this is a version that's like a, well, you'll hear.
It's definitely winter. <laughs> my fingers say, Ken, it's winter. I did my best to uh, clean this thing all up. Then I bled all over my organ. <laughs> no, no, my nose isn't bleeding. Thank God, that'd be a little tougher. <laughs> That's my pinky. After a whole discussion about all that right. stuff. Neutrogena. Steve uses Neutrogena. I swear by shea butter, but apparently... Sorry about that. Thank you. So I should also mention, I'm sure he's watching from home, Alec Darian produced this whole record, and we recorded it at his studios. And uh, yeah, he did a great job. You know, you'll find out for yourself, but... I'm good. Well, you know what? No, I'll, get, I'll take one, just in case. Thank you. I'll put this somewhere in here. <clears throat> Nothing ever happened. This is a song, this is a, at least with us, this is Steve's debut uh, recording or uh, composition. He wrote this with Mike. It's called Equally More. Go figure that one out. I, I haven't even thought about that much, but it doesn't make any sense to me. It's not good. Okay, I'm going to enjoy that one.
Shirley Moore. Just take a moment here in between songs and it's like sometimes I play here when I can't play with a band-aid on my finger unfortunately thank you very much yeah thank you to everyone here the extended play sessions trying to take care of me it's a tough job so I intentionally decided to uh, release this at least initially as a uh, as a hard copy Versus like this, uh, you know, first you release it on Spotify for free and then try to get people to pay. For some reason, that business model just seems funny. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Anyway, and plus, I, I, I just, I feel like the people who, uh, who actually show up to shows and, and buy a hard copy of a, uh, of a recording, and you know, hopefully I'll, I'll, it'll be successful enough, I'll put it out on LP. People who buy hard copies deserve, you know, they deserve more because they pay more. And certainly we get more. I don't want to talk about Spotify, but it ain't good. Right? But, you know, people get music. Any way someone gets music is good, but at least for, at least for a moment, let's pretend. <clears throat> All right. Moving on. Oh, yeah, I have a, I have a poem for this song. So uh, we all love our dogs. I certainly do. Um, so I wrote the song. It's called For the Love of Dog. And I have a little poem that goes with it. It's a little crude. It's OK. Snort. That's the report. Nothing to say about the federal court. I walked around and took a nap, went outside and took a crap. I'm hanging around. I'm kind of bored. And I'm wondering what you might have in store. What the judge has ruled in the past in no way impacts me licking my ass. What's the report? Snort. For the love of dog. Yeah. Thank you. Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> it's probably a little closer to Dr. Seuss. <laughs> For the love of dog.
Farewell. Oh my goodness. This next song I wrote when I was, gee, I don't know, 17, 18. And uh, I grew up listening to a lot of Hugh Mascala. Anybody like Hugh Mascala? Yeah. yeah. So on the, on, the, uh, on the recording I played, it's essentially a mellophone. It's, a, uh, it's like a flugelhorn, which is what he played. I'm not going to do that now. You're welcome. <laughs> but uh, this song is called Chief. One, two, three, four, five.
Thank you. How am I doing for time? Oh, my. Time sure flies when you're having fun. What? No, 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 no. All right, we're going to do two more tunes. Because there's two more songs on the CD. So we won't do the, we'll move one of the other ones. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Sorry. We're gonna play two more tunes. They'll be uh, the rest of the CD. I have to thank my wife and Kim, who's uh, helped me out with the merch, but a lot more than the merch, obviously. Anyone else who's married knows that's like, that's the, the very least of it. She also covered my service I was supposed to play earlier, so, you know, and the list goes on. Anyway, all of our, all of our families have been so supportive. All right, I'll talk less and play more. This next song is called Creative Insomniac. I wrote it when I wasn't sleeping. Oh, yes, and so we're going to play a couple more songs, and then we'll come back. And we'll play a lot of stuff that you were starting to record and stuff from. We have a six CD catalog. We've been playing together for a long time. We've got a lot of recordings. Anyway, <laughs> Creative Insomniac.
Anybody recognize where I took that tune from? Hey, is that you? Ah, well done, sir. It's called Contrafact. It's the same chord progression as another song, Joy Spring by Clifford Brown. But I wrote the melody, so <laughs> I get all the royalties of so much I'm going to get. <laughs> we'll see. I shouldn't be so snarky. All right. This brings us to the last song of the CD, which I hope, uh, I hope you're enjoying. Are everybody enjoying the music tonight? All right. Very good. Thank you. Well, then everybody's going to buy a CD, right? All right, good. <laughs> That's good enough. Oh, yeah. Right. Here it is. Lovely graphics. Where is it? Right there. See? In this wallet light, I don't know how many people buy CDs and say, my God, why do they package it that way? Like all the plastic and crap? This is really nice. You can put it back in the plastic and seal it up. It's all, it's very well done. Artwork by Bill Hurley, of course. Yeah. Alec Darian producing, and the three of us, and that's it. Um, this last song is called Improv. You know, I, I, was supposed to, uh, I was supposed to play a prelude one time, and I said, oh, I'm just going gonna, I'm just gonna to make something up, and I'll, I'll call it Improv. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll figure out what I'm going to do, at least a little bit. Anyway, it ended up being this. Um... And lastly, I should say, we're going to play this song, Improv. And then when we come back, we're going to play a lot of funky music and some of the vocal stuff from our, you know, from our old catalog. Maybe in a song you just might know. Anyway, Improv. Everybody's strapped and we're going on a little journey here.
Thank you. We'll be right back with more music. Stick around.
We are the Ken Clark Organ Trio. You're watching the extended play sessions. This first tune is called Blues No Mo. This is called Blues No Mo. Go ahead.
Thank you. That was recorded back in, Jesus, I don't even know, about 20 years ago on the self-titled CD, back when I had hair. I still have hair. <laughs> it gets tired and it just falls down. It goes everywhere else. Anyway. <laughs> Yuck. This next song, I don't know, it might be a little bit cynical. It's called Fame and Money. What's it worth? Ready? One, two. <laughs> Control what people see, baby. And maybe everything if it's free. But it's not the way it used to be. Anyway, it's okay with me. You go ask everyone you know. Come on and give me all you do. Go everywhere you're told to. In the end, what have you got to show? It ain't nothing but fame and money. It ain't nothing but fame and money. It ain't nothing but fame and money. Oh, but that's all that it is. That's all that it is. You walk into your local bar. Yes, we know you're a big rock star. Well, good job, you made it this far. But in the end, you are who you are. It ain't nothing but fame and money. It ain't nothing but fame and money. It ain't nothing but fame and money. Oh, but that's all that it is. That's all that it is.
So we're playing a bunch of tunes that, uh, that will be coming out, hopefully, I don't know, maybe next year. Because uh, we went in and did a session. We did a bunch of these tunes, and we did a bunch of these tunes. And uh, we completed the jazz stuff. And we're going to work on all this R&B stuff. That Fame and Money is one of them. And this is another song. I don't, I don't even know what it's going to be called. It's going to be the next Ken Clark Organ Trio CD anyway. And it's called I'll Take the Blame. called I'll Take the Blame. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, sure, it was me. Well, it's plain. And any fool can see that I waited too long. So you can look for that one in the future. All right, we're going to play a song that people know. A little something by Booker T and the MGs.
All right, this is a this is another new tune. It's called Song for You. So as I had mentioned before, uh, Bill did the uh, artwork on our last CD. That's a uh, funk side, jazz side. Thank you very much, Bill. And uh, we're going to play a tune from that. This is a, <laughs> it's called Strip 2000, so you can guess how old it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
Y'all with me so far? You having a good time? Well then. I think so. Once again, I'd like to thank everyone here at the Extended Play Sessions, Fallout Shelter. Thank you so much, Bill. Everyone, I, I can't even name everybody. There, there's so many wonderful people here who. Uh, injured themselves loading in my organ and uh you know really do what it takes to get art out there which i appreciate <laughs> i really do this place is uh it's a gem so 
I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here, but you know, spread the word, I guess, is what I can say. Here's one more tune off the uh, upcoming CD of No Name. It's called All Over the Map. It's, uh, you know, it's partly about when you're a musician, you always drive far too much. But sometimes it's also about not knowing what you're going to be when you grow up. And, but I'd say mostly it's about not being able to find your keys when it's time to leave the house. <laughs> All over the map. A one, two, three. <laughs> But soon as I done one thing, oh, you know I got to do the next. Cause I'm all over the map, and that's when I am my best. What you think you're doing? Woo, they think that I'm a fool. Cause I'm all, all over the map. And I like to break the rules. Doing this and that. Oh, you know that I just can't choose. Cause I'm all, all over the map. And you know that I just can't lose. Woo! My 
thank you so much to everyone here at the Extended Play Sessions, and thank you to all of you. How can we say no?
church. Good night. Good night. Drive safe.